assessing the quality of multiple choice questions in an exam sheet by evaluating the ability of the MCQ or a question, its ability to discriminate between a high performing student and low performing student, i.e. measuring the power of each individual questions in its ability to differentiate between good students and high quality students and low performing students based on evaluating the each specific questions whether it is a good questions or a very poor questions that probably require replacing replacing or removing the way to do that is to use an item discrimination analysis in excel based on point by serial correlation coefficient again this assessment of the questions is of, is of a great benefit for those who are involved in education and designing exam sheets or paper and to want to make sure that the questions serve the objective of their subject or taught modules in a way that it will fulfill the requirement for and it assess the uh, uh, learning objective of a module so doing an item discrimination analysis is an important step in assessing exam questions multiple choice questions i have generated as i said before a video clip describing what is point by serial correlation coefficient and the background for it for those who are interested feel free to look at the video in my youtube channel here in excel i have entered a data from an exam result for 38 student answering 76 multiple choice questions from question number one q1 to q76 and each individual or each student answered the questions the data in, uh, recorded or entered as either zero or one zero stands for wrong answer and one indicates correct answer so each question has a value or a score of either a zero or a one answered by each individual student. One for correct answer, zero for wrong answer. So here in these questions, we have only two types of scores, zero or one, which would indicate that it is a categorial data. So just zero, one, zero, one. And um, if we want to evaluate each questions and look at the quality of each multiple choice questions of those 76 questions, and the first step to do that is first of all to calculate the overall exam score for each individual student or the total score that each individual participant had achieved in the exam and the way to do that is to scroll here to the far right and i'm going to generate a new column and i'm going to call it total score and the way to calculate the total score is to add up all the value or the scores for each individual participant has achieved for all the questions 76 questions add them up the value for them and then divide them by 76 and then multiply them by 100 to calculate the percentage of the correct answer or the total score which we are going to use this these scores in subsequent 
analysis. And the way to calculate that is if we just click on the cell here and then click on the symbol here indicate we can use two methods here either using the sum adding up all the value or use the average and I'm here I'm going to use the sum method in which I'm going to select the question number one to question number 76 as it's uh, showing here equal sign sum p2 to py2 and I'm going to divide divide that by 76 since we have 76 questions and then multiply that by 100 so the total score or the total or the percentage of the mark for each individual student for the exam first one is 82 and if I select and drag the cell toward the end it will auto fill the total score for each individual participant or student so here we have 76 questions scored as either 0 or 1 and a total score of of uh, 38 student and the scores in a percentage so here we have a categorical data for each one of these questions 0 or 1 and a continuous data percentage from 0 to 100 and to determine which one of these questions is discriminative between students or not you need to do a point by serial correlation coefficient and point by serial correlation coefficient is based on Pearson correlation coefficient and to do the analysis we need two set of data the first set is dichotomous or categorical as we have here the questions and the second one is the continuous so we need continuous which is the total score so we need to correlate and find the relationship between each individual question with the total score so we need to study the relationship calculate the relationship through a statistical test of a point by serial between each individual score, um, question and total score and uh, to generate a value for the correlation and this value indicate the strength of the relationship and the way to do that in Excel is if we click on data to and then click on the data analysis by the way if you don't see the data analysis icon on your Excel sheet the way to um, bring it on is click on more and then go for options and then scroll down to add in and then scroll down here to manage add in and click on this analyze analysis tool back which will make the icon appear here so if we click on the data analysis and then I'm going to here we have a list of tools or tests to use I'm going to select correlation since we are looking at correlation and this will use the Pearson correlation coefficient if we click on OK another the uh, window appears and we are going to input the range so we are going to compare correlate the data the total score with all the 76 questions then we need to click on this arrow and I'm going to click here then scroll to the beginning of the up to Q1 and then hold the shift key and click on Q1 again the data that we need to include is highlighted and then click again on shift control and on the below arrow 
this will select all your data that you want to correlate the total score with all the questions and if we also we need to keep this label in the first row ticked in and we're going to generate update the correlation in a new worksheet if we click on ok again a correlation matrix is generated as we can see here in which each question so you look at the bottom one here each question is correlated with the total score total score correlated with the question one up to question 76 so now here i'm going to uh, rearrange and delete the data that i don't want so i'm going to get rid from this row up to 76 so by holding the shift key click and then right click on it in it i'm going to select delete again this will delete the uh, other data that we are not interested in so here what we have is the correlation between question number one and total score or overall mark and question two three four and so on and to uh, and to rearrange the data uh, in a much better way we click highlight this row then right click on format the cell and i'm going to click on number and i'm going to use only three decimals to make the value here easy to compare so here from this data we can see that we have the correlation coefficient for all the 76 questions and each question has a value i'm going to get rid of the last one because it's correlating total score with total score will be one so to delete this one so now we have the value the coefficient value the point by serial coefficient value for all 76 questions and uh, in fact i want just to uh, color code those value so that it's much will be much easier to look at the data so if i highlight the row for total score and then click on home and then go click on conditional formatting then click on new row and in the new role we am going to use a three color scale and i'm going to change the type into number for all the minimum the mid the midpoint and the maximum and i'm going to uh, enter here as a minus one since the range for the point by serial coefficient is from minus one to one so i'm going to keep the midpoint zero the maximum uh, one is here is one and i'm going to change the color for the minus we need to be to make it red for zero which is i don't want to make it um, make it uh, white as it is uh, does indicate no correlation and for the maximum one put the color coded with a green if i click on ok in here again color coded all these cells are color coded again according to the value within it as we can see here that the higher the value the more greenish the cell will be as here the correlation coefficient is 0.76 and here is a poor correlation of 0.15 and here also a point oh five and also interesting uh, really uh, toward a pinkish toward reddish uh, color which is indicate a minus correlation and here also a minus correlation now what does this value mean this value mean that if you have a value of p i'm going to call this point by serial as this is the point by serial now and then i'm going to make it a little bit darker so what does this value mean indicate that the higher the closer the value to one the stronger the correlation ship between the each questions and the total mark so in this case anything above 0.15 
is a is a is a fairly fairly good question or anything from over 2.25 it's a good question and anything over 0.4 it is a very good question any any value close to zero as here it's indicate that there is no correlation between the question and the overall score i.e this question is not discriminative it doesn't discriminate between high performing and low performing students so this question need addressing either by remodifying it rewriting it or excluding it and removing it from the exam sheet a negative value here indicate a problem as it is minus 0.294 this indicate that high performing students answered this question wrongly and low performing students answered the questions correctly which doesn't make sense so there is something wrong with this questions and the best way for it is to exclude that question and remove it from the exam and also similar things to this also question number 70 as it's also negative so negative mean it is a bad question so it's you know to get rid of this isn't anything close to zero or minus need to be removed and as it doesn't discriminate between individual so this is the way to discriminate between questions and find out which questions are good and which questions are bad which questions to keep and to use in the future uh, exam sheet and which one to replace or rearrange or rewrite now this value here for the point by serial it, although it is some of these value are high but again this value has to be statistically significant has to be confirmed by calculating the p-value so p-value for each correlation between questions and overall score is need to be to need to calculate the p-value as the p-value is the determined factor in the significance of the relationship between the questions and the overall score so to calculate the p-value for each individual questions correlation of each individual question to total score is to click on if we go here again to this data uh, and we want to calculate the p-value i'm going to select some unfortunately in excel we only can do it uh, one by one one questions by one so we need to do calculate the p-value for question one and then question two and then up to 70 question number 76 so i'm going to select question number five here and do uh, calculate the p-value for question number five as the p-value here for question number five is 0.76 which is very high but is it significant and the way to find out the significance is to calculate the p-value to calculate the p-value for number five here need to click on the data then icon for data analysis then scroll down here on the list and use the regression we are going to use the regression to calculate the correlation between these two variables to get a p-value so if you click at OK, and in this window, we are going to enter a data for y-axis input because it is a correlation, it is a, a regression, then you have y-axis and x-axis, and it's a correlation between them, and then calculating the p-value. For y-axis, we are going to use the score data here as it is selected total score as this is the overall mark and for the input again we're going to select that we haven't selected that if i click on this here and then hold the shift control and down arrow it will select just only the data and the label for that column and we'll do the same thing for input for the input x range i'm going to use found calculate the p value for question number five so i want to scroll to number five click on it and then uh, hold the control shift and then arrow indicating to the lower arrow and then click on 
here again again as you can see that number five let's do it again double check so if we go for number five here click shift and then like arrow is selected here as we have seen here five and arrow um, column five is selected and then click on label and we are going to generate the output in a new worksheet if we click on ok here a few tables are generated what is important here in this tab tables is we need to look at just only the question number five here i'm going to highlight that with the yellow color and of all this what is interesting to us is the p-value this one this p-value as it is again this video look like a little bit complicated so we need to change the format of the cell to a much easier decimal point change it to three decimal point again as we can see this is the p-value correlating question number five with the overall mark and the p-value for it is zero 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 um, so question number five here if you go back again to the mcqs question number five and here in this sheet question number five has a p value which is equal zero 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 so again we need to set uh, up this for the format of the cell into three decimals so we need to see the decimal click on ok I see the decimal so that be this question number five is really an excellent question first of all it has a high value for the correlation coefficient 0.76 away from zero toward one and a statistically significant p-value which is 0 0.000 and for the p value uh, for anything to be statistically significant the p value has to be less than 0 0.05 this is the cutting point anything less than that then the value we are looking at is sig ne fi gant So it is significant or important value. Anything below 0.05, this is significant. Then this value of 0.76 is a significant value, which means that this question, question number five, is a, a, a very good question, a very, very excellent question to keep for discriminating between students. I will also look for another example here and I'm going to look at question number six. As we can see here, the, P, the correlation value is 0 0.05, which is close to zero, which might indicate that this, uh, this question is a bad question. Again, we need to calculate the uh, p-value for it as with the, without p-value we cannot really make a conclusion on the um, quality of these questions as the value for point by serial by itself is not enough to judge without the p the p-value so we need to find out the p-value and to find out the p-value again we go to the mcq the sheet original sheet or data it has data in it and then data and then data analysis and then regression again and we again we are going to use uh, a put uh, keep y m axis or input y range as the total score and the x range we're going to select number six if i select then control shift and below arrow and then click on here click on label keep it as it is and click on ok again another regression tables is generated we have to do again the same changes change this into format the cells change it into three decimal points the p-value is 0.79 if we copy this and we go here to this 
0.7 and place it here 0.749 again if we look at the p value for here here it's very very high it is above 0.05 so once we see this value here so we have to reject this um, value this reading or this value from correlation coefficient and we say that there is this questions is poor questions and we should not consider this questions in the exam as the correlation is very low and at the same time it is non-significant now one last point before finishing i want to pick up a, a negative question i'm going to do the same thing for negative question here for question number 47 we have a correlation coefficient minus which indicate that the question is not discriminating as in this question high performing student answer it answer this question wrong and low performing students answer it correctly so we need to find out uh, whether this question is worth considering again if it is minus then it does not worth considering and it's worth removing it when it, it is it's, it is important to remove this question that is not discriminative but again we had to determine the p-value for uh, this uh, correlation value which is point two minus point two nine four and the way to do that again is to go to the mcqs and then um, data click on data analysis regression again changing that into selecting now the data number or question number 47 click control shift below arrow and then click on OK again another table is generated here and as we can see here the value again changing these things into formatting the cell so making it three decimal points copy MCQs and going to our first sheet here and we're going to place the value here again this is the p-value for this test when we correlate question number 47 with four with overall scores it gave us a minus 0.29 value and a p-value of 0.07 again this value is greater than 0.05 so in this case we discard this questions as it is the correlation is not significant and it is uh, essential to remove this question from the exam and again you have to do these steps one by one for every and all the rest of the questions you need both the value for the coefficient and the p-value to make your judgment on the question so this is the way to Do the analysis item called item discrimination or question discrimination analysis to discriminate analysis that will discriminate between high performing and low performing based on the questions and evaluating the questions using a point by serial correlation coefficient value with a p value for its statistical significant value for it so this is the way to judge whether a multiple choice question is a good or bad question and this is can be of a tremendous benefit to those who are involved in education and assessment and um, designing exams that is of a high quality and high standard one